All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So in front of us on the review table, we have the Firefield Rapid Strike 1 6 by 24 rifle scope, as promised. I wanted to do a review on this thing because not everybody is out there for their first rifle going to put a five or 600, 700. Guys, you can do $3,000 optics. Night Force, you've got... Uh, uh, just there's uh, calls there's there's all kinds of them but today we're talking about this guy right here firefield rapid strike the reason we're doing this is this is on sale right now for 149 dollars 97 cents for more information uh look down below in the campsite and it'll get you right over where you need to be so let's talk about this the rifle ki this kit includes a cantilever mount okay so that's even bigger bigger better thing R the reason being is that the cantilever mount, again, is going to run you $30, $40. And I'm not trying to bring a competitor in here, but this right here, this was $27. And I'll be honest with you, this is worth the well, worth the money. This is a six times optic pop-up locking turrets. And we'll talk about that here in a second. Red or green illumination and resettable turrets. The reticle looks just like that right there. Let me let you see that. Very familiar with the BDC system in it. I'm not sure about the uh, cross stanchions in there and what they represent, but we'll get there. So let's turn this bad over. Specifications, 1 to 6 by 24. That means the tube size is 24. They got red and green. Uh, MOA adjustments, one half MOA, not bad for $149. Eye relief is 4 to whatever that it means, 4 inches. Field of view, 102 inches. Battery life, 100 hours. Okay. CR2032 battery aluminum. Windage elevation is 100 MOA and the weight is 14 and a half. Let's, you know, who cares about all that, right? If you're into this thing, you're going to learn about scopes. Let's talk about getting you your first scope. A couple things. It does come with a throw lever. That is pretty cool that it does do that. You've got a, and I haven't opened this thing. I have no idea what it looks like inside. I will tell you this, that there's a lot of optics out there. They're probably made in the same factory, and I'm just being 100% honest with you. So this guy right here, you've got a little uh, Allen wrench screw right there. So you'll put this on, it's a little slip differential, yada, yada, yada. Here are your instructions. And typically when I do this, I'm going to be just like Curtis from BSO Channel. Let's open this bad boy up and take a look at it. It comes wrapped in a piece of plastic right there. You have no idea what the heck that is. You got a big old... Allen wrench. This is a torque wrench. Probably this, they're the same size. I think they're different sizes, but we'll see here in a few seconds. And a cleaning cloth. Okay, put this box away. Nicely done, guys. And let's see here. We're going to be opening this bad boy up. Firefield. Okay, I'm going to look around it. The first thing I do with my uh, caps, I spend a lot of time on the caps. Oh, I know what that is. That is your kill flash. Kill flash is something it's the little mesh right there. If I'm going to be running something and uh, kill flash is not a bad idea, but I don't think the people are going to be doing this. You're going to be spending a lot more time at the range. Overall look. Hmm. I'm going to brighten up that screen a little bit so we can see it a little better. Remember what I was talking about with the uh, scope, that I, uh, the scope rings that are mounted? I was talking about these locking lugs. What happens is this goes down in between your pick rail attachment. Moving over here. This is going to be your battery compartment. You're going to go red. Huh. Let's see if there's a battery in it. There is. This is a second focal plane, which means the reticle will stay the same size no matter what the magnification is. And I've explained that in some past videos, but I don't know if we can make that see. I'll take some pictures and show you what this looks like. Wait a minute. There it almost was. Uh, there we go. But uh, not bad. Boom. All right, there it is. I'm not sure if you can see it. The reticle looks pretty decent in there. All right, so then we're going to go red. Okay. I'm looking through it personally. We'll show you what it looks like out the distance. The eye box, let's talk about that real quickly. The eye box... The, the more expensive the optic is, usually the eye box is a lot better. If you're down to one power right there, the eye box is usually tremendous. And I am, I've got this thing pulled. It's uh, anyway, very nicely done. I'll just be quite honest with you. All right. So for those that don't understand, the diopter right here is adjusted for your eyesight. Mine is horrible. So I will have mine all the way out to here. 
The zoom ring, let's talk about the zoom ring real quickly. I like it. One of the other things that I want to look at on the diopter is wiggle. The, the diopter does not need to be moving around. That's good. Battery is going to be stored in there. Not a big deal there. We can go ahead and turn that off. As far as I know, probably not on and off. Uh, it, the reticle is etched in. So even if the battery goes dead, you're going to be okay. Resettable turrets. I guess you got to pop it up. Yeah, there you go. As you can hear, nice. Let's do this over here. So when they talk about resettable turrets, they're talking about undo these right here, which means you can zero these and you can pull these up and then reset the zero. That's nice. I like that. And like I said, guys, we're not talking about a super, super expensive setup right here, but what we're talking about is something that like, for, oh, look, you do have, well, a gas, gasket ring. I thought I saw a gasket ring in there somewhere. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> we'll go ahead and put that back in. And that way, when you do you zero your scope, and if you want to know how to zero the scope, it's one of my famous videos. It's out there. I'll go ahead and put the link down below for it. We'll go ahead and tighten this down. I don't know how tight you want to go with it, but you want to go tight enough to where this thing will pop back up and you can redo your torques. So this is going to be the same exact way. You've got torque screws here and here. $149.97. I'll show you some photos. Uh, we're going to take pictures of this thing out the distance, and that way you can see what is this reticle, the, the glass. The glass is very, very clear. All right, so let's take a look at some pictures, and I'll be right back. Stand by. All right, guys, so first of all, there is not a firearm attached to this. This is on a tripod. Uh, so <laughs> Just to take the worries out, and I'm not aiming a weapon out, out of this window, but I wanted to give you guys a sense of what we're looking at uh, through the lens. Now, there is a small bit of vignetting uh, around the edges of that. That's to be expected for a piece of glass that is of this quality. You can see the, op, the uh, reticle. It is at full power right now. It's in the green. And there is the eye box that we talk about at six power. So what I want to do is now I want to put that bad boy down to one. I want you to see the clarity of it. Now, hey, listen, this is a second focal plane scope, which means the reticle remains the same no matter what power level that optic is sitting at. So when I rotate this guy out to one, you're going to see it's going to start getting clearer and clearer and clearer. But as you notice, the reticle stays the exact same, same, same size. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust that eye box now so you can see what it looks like when we go from back. It stays clear all the way over to the edge and all the way over here. So this, that's pretty good stuff, man, as it, it comes to this. Let's see what that red reticle looks like. That's high power green. Let's get on back to the table. We'll talk about those substantions in the reticle. Like I said, they sure do look familiar, don't they? All right, stand by. Found out what this little gizmo is right here. This is for you to adjust right here and here. <laughs> so anyway, that's cool that they provide that. You got a little uh, point right here. You can actually tether it. I will, uh, to be honest with you, I'm gonna keep this in one of my toolkits. All right, so we're talking about the substantions here uh, in the reticle. Let me see if I can find that online. Yes, yes, they do have a picture. Okay, so it's all like the circle uh, is 9.5 MOA circle, okay? And basically, you're going to zero this thing at a 200 yard zero. The top post is three, the second cross section is 400 yards, 500 and 600 yards. Wow, that looks very familiar, doesn't it? If you watch my channel, you know what I'm talking about. So, guys, with that, yeah, for 100, what did it say this thing was? Goodness gracious, $149, 150 bucks. That's it. Uh, I got the, gonna be putting this, uh, more information down below in the campsite. If you're interested in this thing, I wouldn't have any problems going ahead and recommending it 
Uh, this has got some clarity that uh, is very unusual for a scope at this price point. So with that being said, I'll always end them like this, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to go ahead and put my pieces up here. And, man, I tell you what, it is fun being back to reviewing stuff. Like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff here in the near future. And uh, I can't wait because I'm spending a lot more time out of town and uh, having fun at the range. KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Don't forget to check out the campsite. Oh, yeah. Y'all be good.